Hello guys and welcome to the second video of this series. In this video I will be showing you that how to link the API which we create in the previous video to our Flutter app. Now first of all I will be creating an app UI and then I will be implementing our API in our app view. Now I already create an app UI. If you want to use the same UI in the project then you can get it from the description box. I will be putting the git repository link in the description so that you can easily access it. Now once you're done with the UI, open your pubspec.yml file and under dependencies add this package and don't mention the version number. If you mention the version number then it will get the exact uh, same version. If you don't mention the version number and, and click package get then it will get the latest version available. Now create a new dot file and name it API. I already created here. Now import your HTTP package here and import it as HTTP. Now first of all I will be creating here a function and I will be calling my function get data. Now this function will return of type future and here I will be creating another variable of type HTTP dot response. Now I will be storing the data of HTTP dot get in this response variable. Now here our HTTP dot get is an async method so we should call the whole function async and we should await on this HTTP dot get. Now as you can see http.get require url so you need to force url into the function so that http.get can use it. Now we will be returning response.body. Now go to your main file and import api file here. Now we import api.dot file here so that we can use the function we created in api.dot. But before using the get data function first of all go to the text field and and here we use on change property and here we provide a value now value will be whatever the user type here now first of all we need to initiate the url here and now we will be assigning the value to url here first of all i type the hard coded part of the url and then i type plus and then value dot to string now it will generate a url based on the user need whatever the user type will generate a url and we will be using this url to call our api now here is the main part whenever the user click on search icon uh, it should call the generated url now we can do that very easily jester detector have a property on tape which uh, takes anonymous function and we will be putting our get a data function here we will be calling our get data function here now get data function require url which is already generated based on the user need and stored in url now here we should mark this function as async and await on get data but we need to store the get data written in a variable and that variable will be data now data is not initiated so that's why we are initiating data right here at the first place now we will be needing in other variable decoded data and we will be storing our uh, decoded data here in decoded data variable now to decode data we need to import dot convert so that we can decode json uh, data now here we need to pass the data into json decodes uh, to decode it now once we decode the data we will be uh, showing it instead of we will be replacing the query text and query is a hard coded text so we need a variable in which we can store the data and that can be replaced very easily so here we set a query text variable and we will be setting its initial value to query now here we will be assigning new value to query text and the value will be whatever the api return and the api will be returning whatever we are passing now to get that data we need to decode data and here we are mentioning the query and this is the query here if we look at the json structure uh, we need to copy the path of the query which i already did now here if we look to our main widget it is a stateless widget so we need to convert it into a stateful widget uh, now here we need to set a state and we will be setting a state right here and we will be putting the query ticks inside a set state now if we hard reload it and try to test our app it will not work and that is because we forget one thing and that one thing is query now query is a hard coded we uh, make a variable but we did not replace the query as you can see right here so we need to put here query text and if we now reload our app it should work fine now let's test our app if it is working or not and now as you can see this is working 
perfectly fine now that's all for this video and i hope that you learned that how to use the api that we create in the previous video in the, this flutter app and whatever you type it will return the same uh, but in json data and we decode that json data and show it in our app now i hope that you like the video and if you do like the video then please like the video and leave a comment if you don't understand any part and in the next video i will be making a more complex python api and Maybe in the next video, I will be showing you that how to use that complex API in your app. The API which I will be making in the next video will be scraping API which will scrape uh, data from the website, any website and will be serving that data on Flutter app. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.